Border hospitals in Kharkiv direction are overcrowded with wounded Russian soldiers. The commander of the Battalion of Attack Drones, Achilles of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Yuri Fedorenko, stated that the Russian occupation forces are not having success in the Kharkiv direction. The fighting there is of a highly intensive nature. The enemy has a group, as well as the necessary number of reserves, to constantly carry out strike assault operations. After the Ukrainian Defense Forces drove the Russians from their occupied positions, the enemy is trying to counter-attack. The enemy is suffering numerous losses in manpower, as well as in equipment, he said on air at Espresso. According to the military man, the invaders are replenishing their losses by using their reserves. Despite this, Russians are complaining on social media that border hospitals in the Russian Federation are overflowing with wounded soldiers. The enemy uses aviation, using guided bombs of various weights. At the moment, they are doing this as intensively as possible. But everything has a beginning and everything will definitely come to an end, including enemy aviation, the battalion commander noted. Fedorenko added that a number of brigades of the defense forces are working on this section of the front, holding the section, working in cooperation and support. In early May, Russians began to advance in the Kharkov region and captured several settlements near the border with Russia. Serious fighting continued for the city of Volchansk. As reported by the operational tactical group Kharkov, Russians continued to attack in the areas of the settlements of Glubako, Staritsa, Lipsy, and Volchans in the Kharkiv region. In addition, they are preparing new attacks. The latest death toll figures of Russian soldiers is equivalent to an average of above 1,000 a day amid the escalating intensity of battle on the newly opened front in Kharkiv and fighting elsewhere in east and northeast Ukraine, the British Ministry of Defense said. Although this new approach has increased the pressure on the front line, an effective Ukrainian defense and a lack of Russian training reduces Russia's ability to exploit any tactical successes, despite attempting to stretch the front line further, the Ministry of Defense added. Комик уебал наш КАМАЗ. Хуёво комики работают. Буквально минут 10 назад. Слава Богу, без происшествий. Все живы здоровы. Да, пострадавших нету, слава Богу. Бля, там бак точно не ебанет? Не должен. Бабки-то были, скорее всего, он уже въебал. Я все полностью хуяли. А может колеса въебывали? Да колеса херсин. Нет, хлопки что были. Да, как-то вот так. Thank you.